What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world? J Rock is here. Um, Gamescom 2020 has been going on the last uh, day or two, if I'm not mistaken, and um, got a couple trailers that have dropped from some video games. One of these. Video games that drop Proteus. Proteus? I don't know how you say it. It doesn't matter how you say it. But we're going to check it out because this looks pretty interesting. Now, J-Rock hasn't seen it. He just saw the thumbnail and said, we'll check this one out. So, with that being said, let's check it out. Okay. Straight out of Doom. Or Doom is. What you just saw was a glimpse into Proteus, a retro FPS with an emphasis on visceral combat, map design, and built-in community tools for hours and hours of play. My name is Jason Wahika. I'm one of the lead developers of Proteus. I'm going to briefly walk you through our game and show off what we've been working on for the last two years. In my past life, I was a map designer on a few AAA titles you may have heard of, and so of course, robust map design became an essential pillar of Proteus. One of our primary design philosophies for Proteus was to take what we loved about shooters from the 90s and early 2000s and tastefully update them with modern design techniques. That philosophy directly relates to our map design, where we encourage players to explore and destroy at a rapid pace through intuitive level flow. We want players to play our levels multiple times and find new secrets to try higher difficulties or climb the leaderboards. Beyond our own handcrafted campaign map, we want Proteus to become a sandbox for the community to play in. We've allowed for a ton of visual elements to be completely customizable to fit the hardware and era of your favorite shooter. This includes various HUD tweaks, monitor effects, and the ability to change the game from sprite renders to full 3D. But our crown jewel of custom content is our own built-in level editor and map browser. We've created an incredibly powerful editor built right into Proteus, so passionate players can create the map of their bloody retro shooter dreams. While it may look advanced, we've simplified the map editor so anyone can dive in and start feeling like a pro. We've also included a ton of pre-made assets straight from our own campaign to help players quickly build exceptional looking levels. The map editor will see a lot of attention throughout development, and we've already been blown away by what our community has crafted so far. But what's a great map editor without a place to share your creations? One of our killer features in Proteus is our own in-game community map browser. Players can browse, play, and rate community maps. And gone are the days of your hard drive filling up with tons of custom levels. Our map file sizes are micro, so they load almost instantly directly from our server. Hmm. That's it for now. If you're interested in getting your hands on Proteus very soon, you can sign up for our closed beta directly on our Steam page. We're also happy to announce that Proteus will be releasing into early access on November 10th this year. Follow us on Twitter at Proteus Game, or join our Discord channel to get ready with the rest of our community to paint the walls red with space on the blood this November 10th. Well, J-Rock says this, we all know exactly what game this game, Proteus, looks just like. Starts with a D, ends with an M, and has two O's in the middle. Uh, so, but it looks like they added a few different things. Looks like there's a lightning gun or some other different things, but basically it's just another version of Doom. That's what it looks like to J-Rock. Map designs and all that sort of thing. Something that Doom has been doing. Um, let J-Rock be very, very clear. When Doom came out back in the 90s. Back on the Super Nintendo. Oh, it changed the game. Oh, it changed the game. Because we hadn't seen, first and foremost, a first-person shooter. But then a first-person shooter like that. 
its popularity took off and I remember it was in the red cartridge for Doom for the Super Nintendo played that thing to death played it to death man the game was fun as hell but uh, this game just looks like a uh, a do another Doom version a knockoff of Doom might be fun who knows I haven't played it yet so I can't say yay or nay but uh, it looks just like it but I want to know what you thought what did you thought think of this game Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of this reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Great Ones reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And make sure to hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until we meet again. Mamba and Gigi forever. If you smell... Well, J-Rock!